Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Nala channel. Uh, today we will be discussing about very interesting topic called attribute agreement analysis. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. Why? Because uh, this concept is slightly, uh, you know, and uh, largely been used only for if the data is uh, discrete data. And we will mull over more uh, as we go along. So this is my seventh uh, video on Six Sigma. So on this uh, part, uh, basically what in this video will cover up uh, what is uh, attribute agreement analysis and when to use it and why do we need to use it and who are all the interested parties, who are all the people need to use this attribute agreement analysis and more importantly and fascinatingly, so how part we will do it how part meaning like how to use the data. I have one, uh, you know, sample, which I will give a live demo step by step, how to use these things in the mini tab. So what is uh, attribute agreement analysis is uh, an assessment uh, between uh, the rating made by an appraiser and known standard. That means uh, whatever the appraisers we have, uh, different appraisers, we can compare with one golden sample or one golden result so that uh, you know we can justify whether our uh, results are accurate. And as we said before, this is uh, largely being used for discrete data. Discrete data, something which is countable data or qualitative data. So uh, what a little bit more details on what part and uh, this is something uh, you may know this uh, terminologies. Uh, repeatability, reproducibility. Repeat meaning like the same step being repeated uh, many times. Reproducibility meaning like uh, you know different appraisers. So accuracy has got uh, two uh, uh, you know coinage. One is appraiser accuracy and one is uh, team accuracy. Simple one appraiser is a singular one and if you have a combine of uh, team then it becomes a uh, team accuracy. And there is something called stability. We can get to know whether our measurement is stable or not. We'll get to know. So when to use, uh, you know, I have drawn up a fishbone diagram uh, just to fit in like all six M where we can see and justify where all things it can be used. For example, if you feed this uh, attribute agreement analysis from take an example of material. So that means uh, we can use it uh, supplier change management or supplier qualification or lot qualification. And when we put this in machine perspective, we can use it for equipment changes, calibration and so on and so forth. And when we put this in the man perspective, this is what they largely been used. New operator, you know, requalification, whether the operator understood uh, the customer complaint, whether the operator understood the scenario, whether the operator, uh, this is also we can say like wherever the cosmetic things are there where you can't have so much a written uh, document. In such cases, you will prepare a golden sample. You have a golden sample and you compare with this. So anything which is a cosmetic thing. So in these cases, this is going to be very interesting. Why? Because we can assess uh, against the standard operator and uh, so that actually we can qualify whether uh, the results always accurate and all the times uh, the results are accurate. Method not largely being used, uh, you know, change in procedures or continual improvement, new standards or custom, uh, customer calibration and also this is also used for environment also as well. Because, uh, you know, you see like uh, the changes, the temperature is very vulnerable. Some cases uh, mainly when you talk about temperature, atmosphere, uh, when you talk about it uh, changes place to place. So that means uh, this exercise can also be done to ensure that uh, how much variance we have and all this. So why why we need to use and what is what is mean by alpha and beta rays? So this is something uh, a big subject to discuss and uh, I will open up an, one more video where I will talk about more of uh, uh, you know on these part alpha and beta rays. There is something called hypothesis. We will discuss uh, about this subject separately. But I wanted to give uh, one quick uh, glimpse from it. So alpha risk, what it mean by that is we may inadvertently discard or rework a good part or good item. 
we have a good item that means uh, unknowingly or mistakenly when we say like uh, rework or discard or scrap that is alpha risk what do you mean beta risk beta risk meaning like bad product reaching to the customer is called beta risk so this is the implication for example let's say alpha risk you have that means you're rejecting the good one uh, or reworking of the good product that means unnecessary scrap can happen material loss can happen unnecessary rework can happen and if you say beta risk uh, that, that means a customer complaint will rise up because you are allowing bad product to send it to the customer so who on can be used anybody who is a quality inspector and decision maker uh, can make make use of this uh, tool because this is a very interesting and uh, fascinating tool as such so what i have is now is uh, the how part uh, basically i'm going to ha i have this sample data i'm going to give a demonstrations to you how to use and how to interpret uh, the results also as well so this is the data i have uh, the data I have a, for a product, for a new product, I have the readings for 30 samples and I have two, uh, you know, appraiser one and uh, uh, appraiser one, two, three appraiser I have. And I'm going to repeat that same exercise with the two trials with a different time. And uh, this is H column is something a supervisor result in which we can compare whether all the appraisers are in line to these uh, supervisor results let's go ahead and copy paste this value and put it in mini tab i'm opening up the mini tab i'm just navigating it uh, so i'm just making sure that it's a full screen i'm just copying down here i'm double ensuring that the data are pasted yeah the data are pasted correctly and go to start and you have a quality tools in quality tools you have something called attribute agreement analysis have a go and click it so when you click it uh, upon clicking it you this window will pop up basically it has uh, two stream of information one is uh, attribute column you see here is a column that means singular uh, multiple columns so multiple columns you have since we have multiple columns i'm gonna go and select multiple columns so going to select the appraiser readings of two trials, three appraiser of two trials. Just select and number of appraisers we have. We have three appraisers, a number of trial being done, two and the name. For example, appraiser name you can copy paste here. The example Abrar, or let's say Ahmed, let's say Hafiz or whatever my full name by the, by the way i'm just uh, giving us a different appraiser name and known standard and attribute so please do select it you can also compare with the golden sample so in this one the golden results are from the supervisor and give category of attribute data an order i will go and click it give okay So basically you find uh, two, uh, one window containing two bar, one is a within appraiser values and appraiser versus uh, standard. Within appraiser, you can see like a bar is a one reading. It says the value is uh, 93.33 and uh, the second appraiser is Ahmed and the reading is 90 and third appraiser is uh, Hafiz, the appraiser reading is 90. So this is uh, also we can compare this one within the appraiser that means three different appraiser we can compare and these value we can compare against the standard also as well. So we can compare and we'll get this uh, value and I will go and explore how to give how to interpret these things I will explain you in, in a few minutes now. So data of study if you wanted to do a uh, proper formatting can please do that for example a data of study. I have a double click on this one and uh, you can write it down like 4 June 2020 and give OK and uh, reported by you can give a name or you can give uh, the formatting 
and you can also give a name of the product and if you have any other information you can feel free to give it so let me go back to the ppt so if the uh, within the appraiser is called repeatability that means uh, within the between the appraiser is called reproducibility and each appraiser versus standard is called appraiser accuracy each appraiser that means i'm i'm, I'm talking about the singular one the same thing appraisers versus standard is called team accuracy uh, if the agreement value is uh, greater than 90 percentage that means it's good and is acceptable one and if the value is uh, between uh, lay between 70 to 90 uh, less than 90 that means uh, we need to cautiously uh, review the situation and uh, we may need to accept on a case-to-case -case, uh, basis uh, anything which is below 70 is uh, not acceptable so let me go back to the uh, you know mini tab So if you wanted to uh, see that one interesting window is something called uh, this window where you can see the entire log. So have a go and click. So here you will get to know entire calculation what is being done behind. So how much uh, samples being inspected, how much match has been found, what's the overall accuracy, 76.67. And it also will give uh, you know appraiser readings and uh, you can also compare all these value what we saw in the graph and the same thing you can see uh, more detail in the textual form and uh, in, remember like if you wanted to do any quick edit you can have a go and edit the last dialog box uh, if you wanted to fit any uh, anything if you wanted to change anything you can feel free to do instead of comparing three appraiser if you wanted to compare only with one appraiser versus standard again you can you can very well do that So this is what we, we saw in the mini tab and uh, the summary is uh, repeatability uh, attribute agreement analysis being used for discrete data. We talked about repeatability, reproducibility and appraiser accuracy and team accuracy and stability. So thank you so much for uh, watching this one and uh, for further if you wanted to get connected this is my mobile number, this is my Facebook ID, and uh, this is my YouTube channel, Abra Knowledge. Uh, please do uh, comment and provide your suggestions. If you wanted to have any other separate topic to be, uh, you know, dwelled and discussed, please do uh, comment it appropriately. I will 